Piggy is your score for life. We bring in your, all your lifestyle data, your health data, your social media and community data together and get, aggregate them easily into a single number for you to understand your wellness. Um, we make it very easy for you to share. The more you share your data, the more improvement you see, the more you know, your friends and families and uh, all your social networks get influenced by it and you get influenced by them. The reason we try to encourage on the social networking and sharing data is around two principles, one called the Hawthorne effect. The idea is that if you know people are watching your data, you change, you improve, uh, and you change your behavior. Other is called halo effect. If one person in the family or in the community changes, others get inspired by it and change also at the same time. We never share your health data. We don't even let you share your health data. All you can do is uh, uh, reflect your Higgy score and make that public. And that, that's uh, very easy for you to understand and simplify and compare and compete with others. Higgy Score has three pillars, your lifestyle, your community, and your body, right? So it's, 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 it's bringing all these things together as one unified score for you to understand. The bigger the number, the, the uh, better you are, the more well you are. And the idea of the number is really for you to com compare with, your, with others in your society, in your community, in your friends, in your family. And the idea is to get to the 900 above nines. That's the elite club, what we call a 900 club. That's where you get your perks and rewards, and that's the secret. You only find out when you get to the 900 club what rewards and uh, uh, things you get when you get to the 900 club. So you want to strive to get to the 900 club. If you think about it, if you go and buy a TV, how much research do you do? You look up online, you go to the store, you shop, compare. We don't do that when it comes to health and wellness. Most people don't do that when it comes to health and wellness. I think a lot of our, um, I'm in the belief that it needs to be in the consumer's hand. It's awareness of the data, being able to compare what, you know, how uh, they engage in their health, being able to discuss with the providers and be part of that continuum of care, be part of the decision making process and be able to understand. We are trying to make it easy and simple and not just tell you go lose weight or go exercise, but making data available to you. If you think about it, anybody who wants to improve, as a business, what do you need first? You need data to understand the metrics. And what you will learn is that 80% of the problems are just 20 things. There's a hidden secret in wellness that the, the, the old blood pressure machine that you see in grocery stores, at the back, the ugly things, the two buttons on, that you press in, see some numbers. When you're out of the store, you don't remember them anymore if you didn't write them down. So those are used by 70 million unique individuals on an annual basis, half a billion times. So that's where our uh, station comes in, our Higgy station. These are our uh, wellness stations we are putting in grocery stores all around the US right now, where you can go in while you're visiting a grocery store or a local pharmacy or a retailer, you know, you know, two minutes or 90 seconds, you're in and out, get your all your vitals, your BMI, your height, your weight, blood pressure, pulse, all data in one go, then help you see how you're improving your body. We saw a huge opportunity to take them, convert them to connected stations where you can easily track the information and the information is secure and safe for you for the long run. But in addition to the station, you know, we are bringing in other devices too, other partners, anybody that lets us uh, you know, connect and bring data in. It's all about aggregating data and helping you share it. So when we started, our, we thought our population would be skewed toward the elderly. We were surprised. We are evenly distributed across all uh, age groups and all genders. So we were really pleasantly surprised by that stuff that, you know, how our younger audience and, and the elderly audience are using the station at the same uh, uh, frequency. We've had a million people use our machines so far. And we've had around 1,000 machines, stations deployed um, in the United States so far. I think the big issue in healthcare is how do you incentivize the consumer? How do you make it easy? How do you make it simple? How do you, how do you really hit it in such a way that they start caring about the health and wellness? You know, most of the population today really ignores this problem, right? And, and I think incentives 
as well as awareness, all needs to come aligned. You know, making aware of the data, sharing the data becomes very, very important to make that happen. How is technology changing your world? Join the conversation at tdo.org slash pull.